Hello friends, welcome to my channel Maths Time with Sagaraya. In this video, I will teach you how to find interest rate and principal when compound interest for two different years are given. Before starting this video, I would like to thanks to all my friends who have already subscribed my channel. At the same time, if you are watching this uh, video for the first time, please subscribe my channel so that you would not uh, miss any of my videos. Now, without any delay, let's uh, move to our question. You can, in the screen, you can see the question. Um, now, without any delay, let's uh, go through the question. In the screen, you can see the question. The compound interest of a sum of money in two years and four years are rupees one thousand fifty and rupees two thousand three hundred twenty point five, respectively. Find the rate of interest compounded annually and the principal. So this uh, annually word means um, you have to use the uh, compound interest formula for annual case. Similarly, there are different case, uh, semi-annually case um, and uh, quarterly case also. So let's uh, start with the so first case you can write in the first case uh, principal we don't know the compound interest of a sum of money in two years. So time is given here two years. In the second case also principal we don't know and time is four years four years now uh, the compound interest of a sum of money in two years and four years are this uh, 1050 and rupees 2320.5 means this uh, uh, for two years case compound interest compound interest is rupees 1050 so compound interest equals to rupees 1050 similarly in second case compound interest equals to 2320.5 now you have to find the rate of interest compounded annually and the principal since here compound interest is given so we will use the formula of compound interest so compound interest equal to p 1 plus r by 100 whole power t minus 1 big bracket close equal to rupees 1050 so let it be equation 1 similarly for in this case also formula is same so 1 plus r by 100 whole power t minus 1 equals to rupees 2320.5 we can just uh, suppose this as a compound interest 1 and compound interest 2 so let it uh, be equation 2 now since this equation 2 is bigger so 2320.5 is bigger so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to divide this equation by equation 1 dividing equation 2 by equation 1 and now what we can do is we can write P 1 plus R by 100 whole power T minus 1 equals to here also P 1 plus R by 100 whole power T minus 1 uh, in the equation 2 it is rupees 2320.5 and in the first equation it is 1050 now what you can do is you can just cancel this principle and then uh, this 1 plus r by 100 1 plus r by 100 whole power t so in this case in this case time is 4 so I am writing here 4 minus 1 and in another case time is since uh, here is time 2 years so let's write 2 minus 1 now 2 3 2 0 0.5 here 1 0 5 0 now let uh, this 1 plus r by 100 be a now if you just write uh, 
a in in uh, in place of 1 plus r by 100 it just uh, it will be just like this so a power 4 minus 1 by a square minus 1 now uh, equal, um, now we can just break this uh, a square minus 1 minus 1 square so a power 4 can be written as a square whole square minus 1 can be written as 1 square so denominator as it is if you just divide this you will get 2.21 now use the formula of a square minus b square so a plus b a minus b so a means a square and b means 1 so uh, denominator as it is and then 2.21 now you can just cancel this a square minus 1 and uh, a square minus 1 so here a square plus 1 equals to 2.21 now a square equals to 2.21 minus 1 or a square equals to 1.21 so instead of a now we can again write 1 plus r by 100 this square means whole square equals to 1.21 can be written as 1.1 whole square now this is square and square you may cancel this and you will get 1 plus r by 100 whole, equal to 1.1 and then uh, r by 100 equals to 1.1 minus 1 or r equals to 0 0.1 so this 100 when you take it to right hand side it becomes multiply so equal to 10 so rate equal to 10 percent now what you can do is just put the value of r in any of the equation and you will get the value of principal also so putting value of r in equation 1 so in the first equation it is given 1050 equals to p 1 plus r by 100 whole power t minus 1 so 1050 p so 1 plus r means 10 by 100 so t is 2 so minus 1 so 1050 p so 10 divided by 100 is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 plus 1 will be 1.1 so i am directly writing here 1.1 square minus 1 so 1050 equals to p and just uh, multiply this it becomes 1.21 minus 1 so 1050 equals to p into 0. Point, p into 0. 0.21 and 1050 when you just divide by 0. 0.21 you will get your answer so therefore principal equals to 5000 so which is your required answer please subscribe like and share my videos with your friends see you soon with more educational videos thank you